if you have a post going straight into the ground. What's at the other end holding it? It's out. Theoretically, it'll cut about two inches. Hey, welcome back. Today, we're gonna do a quick project up by the house. Boy, we sure enjoy this view out the back. But there's one problem with this view, and I'm hoping we can fix it tonight. This electric pole has got to go. So when we renovated the house, there was an old electric line and they cut the line, didn't remove it, and they put a new line in. And the old pole is right here. Pole in a stabilizing wire line. And it all goes to this old power line. And this line goes off and into the woods to the next pole. And there are a dozen of these poles on the property, but none of them have any power. I want them cut, I want them taken down, I want them visually cleared out of here, especially this one that's right off the back deck. So I thought, if we can rip trees out of the ground, why not give that thing right there, the tree puller, a shot at pulling out this electric post? Let's give it a shot. So I've seen these stakes in electric posts, holding them at angles my whole life. And I've always wondered, if you have a post going straight into the ground, what's at the other end holding it? What's to make it so that it doesn't just pull on out? I don't know if the tractor will be able to pull out whatever's there, but hey, let's give it a try. I've got nothing to lose here. So this is the old post, and it just goes into the ground. What's in there? Well, I say let's find out. Visibility is very difficult. So here we go. We're clamping the teeth up oh, and there it goes. You can see the see the post moving and I'm just gonna give it a tug. Oh boy, that is in there. It's moving. Let's do some curl and it's going up, it's going up, it's going up. The lift does nothing and the curl barely does. Whew. Let's try that again. All right, I think we're clamped. We're gonna lift and then curl. Let's give it some gas. Uh, for all I know, it's, it's all concrete. Wow, that thing is long. All right, I think it's out. We're, there we go. Huh. Got a little dangly ball. Should I leave it in the air or let it go now? Eh. I'll leave it in the air. Knock some soil off. I had no idea these things were this long. That, that's that got to be six feet there. Something like that. We'll get on my trusty gloves. Good soil. Oh, now we're into clay for sure. Ah, I'm thinking that at the bottom, there we go. We must have bent that on its way up. Looks like at the bottom here, we got about a 12 inch by six inch metal plate about, I'd say it's, it's a good eighth inch thick. And uh, we probably bent it on the way of pulling it up. And now I know what anchors these things, but that's a good four feet underground probably. Yeah, I'd say four feet. Sweet. Let's keep moving. Let me let this down. I've been going around this spot with the zero turn for five years. It's driven me crazy. That's my daughter. She wants to know what I'm up to. She's always curious what's going on around the farm. I'm talking to her, but I cut those parts out. It always amazes me pulling this old iron out of the ground. I think that's barbed wire. It's definitely metal. Something that would go through a tire pretty good. Let's get out from under here and get you a better view. Hi, welcome to the view under the porch. Hoping you got a good angle on it right here. We're gonna be pulling this post right out, or at least we're gonna be trying to. That's a good seven inch post. It gets a little tapered as it goes up, but I'm hoping it'll pull straight out. I tell you, getting this five series in here in these tight spaces is challenging. 
you really realize it when you get close to the house and the deck. Here we go. Okay, we're pitching a little bit. By pitching, I mean it's angling it. I'm gonna keep going until I see it move. At least 20 degrees there we go. downhill to the right. All right, I'm gonna bite. And I know I bit, and let's start the pull. Sometimes it's challenging knowing where the push bar touches a tree or a pole and the tee. But I'm starting to get a hang. Okay, this is feeling a little heavy, so I'm going to try to get back on the ground. I'm just going to let it go. I was not expecting this. thinking what happened. Uh, let's get a little forward, a little over to the side. There we go. Oh, got the wrong angle, I think. I can't believe I caught that. I'm going to back up. Let's back up with it. I think I'm trying to say in the jaws of the tree puller right now. Alright, let's try carefully here. Get back up. That was awesome. I don't know if I got you the right camera angle though. So it was just buried straight in. It looks like it was about a little, about four or five feet. Really, it doesn't look like it has anything to like stabilize it or anchor it. I kind of find that amazing. There we have the beautiful hole. We'll get that filled in before the kids find it. And that brings us to this end. So to deal with this end, I did buy a new tool. I've never used these before. This is a ratcheting, wire cutter and it goes round and round until things are cut so theoretically it'll cut about two inches so I'm gonna give them a try they're from Amazon so what I'm really hoping right now is just that when I make this cut that it won't spring and go flying I'm gonna go stand on the far side here we go I'll cut all the electric wires and there's a braided cable in there oh that goes slow All right, here we go. I'm gonna stand back a little. Yeah, it's going. Pushing through. One click at a time. Huh. Whoa! Yep, she's down. That was nice. I think I knocked the paint off of it. I did put a chunk in the blade right down there. So we'll see if that's substantial or not. This is just old steel wire. Yeah. All right, we are free. All right, let's go move this pole somewhere. Not exactly sure how to get out of here now. I didn't really think about this, but do you remember how earlier I made a comment and I said, it's hard to drive with a really long tractor right here. Well, I've just doubled the length of my tractor. <laughs> oh boy. I think we're gonna go forward and angle. So what 
would you use with a great big telephone pole? Does this have any use or is this just firewood? Pretty old. I wouldn't call it rotted, but it's close to rotted. Very dried out. I'm gonna check behind me. Oh, I think we're all clear. I think we made it. Oops, that was a close one. It's tricky with the bush hog back here. Just hit that driveway marker. That's to uh, help keep me and everyone else out of the septic field. something go flying something electric man i have a total new respect for like 18 wheeler drivers I'm ready to go by major farm roads i don't know where i'm going i don't know where to put this right now don't know if it's worth saving or if it should just go straight to a burn pile probably straight to the burn pile you can leave a note in the comments because i've got 12 more of these to pull and tell me if i should save any of them or you know what i am gonna save it i'm gonna put it next to a shed yikes yikes oh caught up there we go we're free i think this looks great It'll do for now until I figure out what I want to do with it. So I'm going to try to get one more tonight, which this one's been driving me nuts for probably eight months. A windstorm came through and knocked a big tree branch down and that put pressure to stretch out the lines. I'm afraid that this one might be rotted at the bottom, but we'll find out real fast. If I can pull it up, this one has three strands of copper wire that are hanging about four feet off the ground, so I can't get my zero turn or the tractor under them easily without catching it. And we are going under the three copper lines. I don't know if you can see that. So this is the setup with this one, stuck in a tree. But I don't know if you can see the lines. They come running down here and it goes to the corner of the barn. But these are always catching the zero turn or the tractor. And I want them down. And I wonder how much copper that is. Do you think it would be worth a buck? Dare me to look it? Ah! <laughs> no, I know the power's off on these. Boy, that would be great to have down and not be worried to drive the tractor in here anymore, being afraid of catching it. So let's see if this one will pull. This one is 10 inches probably around that base. So I hope that's not too heavy. Ugh. Here I'm about to bump that tree guard again, probably. <laughs> I'm going to take advantage a little more of that top tree guard by just coming in a little tighter on it. I'm clamping it. That's all she's got. And I learned, let's give it some gas. All the gas. And here we go. Slowly pulling up. Oh, this thing isn't moving. Oh, there it goes. That curl did it again. Tension back on the lines. Oh, it's out. I'm gonna back up, get away from it, reassess. That's gotta be eight feet in the ground. Okay, we got it. I'm lifting. I'm trying to, oh, it broke. Do you see it? It broke which might be good. Other than I'm really stuck up in that first tree. I'm gonna drop it. 
All right, I got I got some choices to do make here. I think I'm gonna go pick up the one that broke the bottom piece on the ground. We gotta look and see if there's a like camera system that can wirelessly go to my iPhone. I just can't see. Anybody have any recommendations on one of those? There we go. All right, that can go to the burn pile. Let's just put it over here, get it out of the way. That'll be something for my son to play on tomorrow. Now I gotta figure out how to get in here, grab that telephone pole, and get it the lines out of the other tree. Not that I'm in love with that tree, but for now, it's gonna stay. These videos are actually kind of educational, even to myself. Learning to see what I'm doing wrong. Keep touching that tree pusher. All right, we're gonna try to back up and go sideways. We did it. I'm gonna just open and drop. Sweet. Let's go use our wire cutters. Oh, look at all this old copper. That's amazing. I don't, I don't think this is the right tool for this. I think I need snips. Or I could just go through here. There we go. That'll do. These are interesting. So, cutters, do they get the job done? Yes. Oh, there it goes. Do I recommend them? No. The blade is just too cheap and bent, damaged. I'm not even gonna put a, a link to them on Amazon because I don't know why you would want them. I mean, will they do for me? One-time job, sure. But I'd rather in invest in something that can go more than one job. Yep, free, freedom. So, because of that little nick in the blade, I gotta finish cranking it, then you can wrap it. And theoretically, this just goes in an infinite loop. and go around the copper wire we want to cut and we'll just crank it down and then slowly one tooth at a time you advance it until they pop one two there it is there we go all done ready for the next one now you can watch me be an idiot trying to get these wires out of this tree This is one of those super thorny honeysuckle. All right, two down, one to go. I could see how these would be really handy. I just would like a better pair. Yes! In a video soon, I'm taking this tree down. I'm gonna win. All right, we got three wires on the ground. No longer over my head. That's gotta be about 300 feet with three strands of copper. I'm gonna go as far as I can and then cut them. I'm sure they'll be dangling here somewhere, like right here, but at least it won't be as bad. We can always keep cutting at it. So I'm gonna snip these. Seven, eight, nine, there we go. 10, we're biting. 11, one's down, 12. 13, another one, 14, 15. Now I just have to clean up my wire. This has been a, a lot of work this weekend. Good stuff. We did about 10 hours of mowing. All right, now I gotta manually wind this up. What if I just fold it? I know someone out there will criticize me, but hey, live and learn, I guess. I call this the stomp dance. It's working. I'm just trying to make this manageable. I do love the way copper bends. There's something satisfying about it. Am I even halfway yet? I'm asking because I'm already starting to get out of breath doing this. So right there I stopped because there was this beautiful braid of how they spliced 
the two copper wires together. Got beautiful patina. Might see if there's something I can do putting it into something. If you got any ideas on what I could do, let me know down below in the comments. Oh, that's, that's a pretty good pile. Whew. Copper. Oh, I'd say that's a good 35, 40. That'd be my, be my guess. Uh, but I really appreciate you checking it out. And if you like this video at all about the tree puller and what it's capable of, why don't you check out this video here? We got some coyotes in the background. It's got some similar videos about the tree puller. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you real soon.